all right guys so for for uh for cobra kai tier list bro i've been seeing everybody do this i messed with cobra kai bro so i said why not why not i hop on and make my own cobra kai tier list so to say the least bro cobra kai tier list bro you got let's see who i want to put at d tier so clearly okay Bert, get over there you're, you're not him bro Bert, you're not him uh who else is not him bro there's gotta be somebody else in this list. It's not oh Nate. Nate, you know you're not him. I'm gonna say nerd. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say bird above you though. Bird gotta be above you, bro. Alright. So there's that tier. I don't wanna take that tier any higher. You know what I'm saying? Uh C tier. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say you, because you kinda got stomped by everybody. So you're gonna be in D tier uh Forgot his name. Forgot his name. But yeah, he gonna be a he gonna be in these two because he practically got beat up by Kyler, Miguel, and all them. He pretty much was just a, a fighter, but a fighter. Okay, so now we get serious. Let's get let's get toxic. Let's get toxic. All right. So to start off my C tier, let's be honest. Anthony, what what did you do besides lose to Kenny, bro? You're not that guy. But now you you outside, but you perform good against Kenny, so. Since Chris is constantly getting beat up by Mitch, bro. I'm gonna just say you go right there, bro. Uh, honestly, Kyler, Kyler would clearly be above Anthony, considering he was able to scrap with him in um season. Uh, well, no, Kenny's above Kyler, but Kyler is above Anthony because Kyler was able to do that. Uh, you know what I mean? That stone breaking feat in season four, which is still ridiculous. Um, but in terms of season six, if I just had to scale this. Anthony was able to fight Kenny. Kyler performed better against multiple fighters. I would just say Kyler is above him just because of that logic. Um, okay, let me see who else on here, bro. Who else on here? Uh, I would say since Dimitri is still doing karate, he would still be, he would clearly be above Kyler um, because he's still doing karate. That would just make sense. Also, um, I think Anthony is slightly above Mitch because he performed better against Anthony, and I'm just saying Mitch does better against Chris. So that's the only reason he's there. Um, Sean uh, was able to do one move against Robbie. So I would say that's impressive. I would say Sean is right here. I would say Sean is above Kyler because he was able to uh, attack. But he kind of got fodderized. So I'm going to say Kyler is actually above no, 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 no. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Sean is above Kyler. I'm gonna say Sean is above Kyler. I just feel like that makes sense. I don't know if y'all agree with me on that, but that just makes sense. All right. Uh, like I said, Anthony didn't really do anything besides fight Kenny, which is impressive. But I would say he's above them, but he's not above Kyler, who fought multiple people. Sean, who tackled Robbie, and uh, Dimitri, who's still doing karate, who should be, I would assume, better than Sean. But Sean has strength. So maybe I just say Sean is above Dimitri. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna let y'all tell me if I got this wrong. Maybe, I'm gonna say Dimitri is above Sean because he does karate and he doesn't. I'm gonna just say that. Plus he got that kickoff against Hawk. Okay. Anyways, now we're gonna get into the real toxicity that is going to to be um you know occurring on this list. All right. So for beats here first, I got I got uh Devin Lee. Now let me explain why Devin is right here. Devin has got to be the weakest fighter in season six, and here's why: out of the out of the strong people, I would say Devin is here simply because she only got that hawk that that flag off hawk, and that's not really moving me enough to say that Devin should be any higher than this. So I'm gonna say Devin is right here. Um, next I'm gonna say where where is he, bro? Where is he? I'm gonna say Yoon Dojin is right right here. He's above, no, no, he's above, he's above Devin. He's above Devin. And the reason why I say he's above Devin is because he he's able to just somewhat fight Quan. Now he kind of gets bodied by Quan, but hey, he's somewhat relative to him. This dude has no feats that really interest me. And um, yeah, I'm a feat guy, so he has no feet. So I don't care nothing about any of this foreshadow nonsense. Forget out of here with all that nonsense. Uh, Next I got uh below here in the middle. Um, Why is it not, why is it not moving? Okay, I don't know what's going on. It's not letting me click on. Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened, but it didn't let me deal with it. Anyways, 
Tori Nichols in base is better than Devin, clearly, because she took a flag off Devin in base. Uh, I don't think she's above Yoon, and the only reason I don't think she's above Yoon is because dude could scrap with Quan. And clearly, this is not the best version of Tori in this season. So, yeah, base Tori goes in between Devin and them. Now, um, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about any of this. Um, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say Hawk. Uh, I'm going to say Hawk is above all these people because he just is. There's no reason to really, really say Hawk is below base Tori. There's no reason. Now, base Tori, Sam, and them are stated to somewhat be like the best fighters in the dojo, but that's literally by them themselves. And I do understand that base Tori does get more flags. But once again, Tori, Hawk, uh, Sam, uh, Miguel, and Robbie should have all been shoe wins anyways. For one, Tori's an All-Valley champ. Hawk is an All-Valley champ. Uh, Miguel is an All-Valley champ. Robbie's a runner-up in both All-Valleys. And Sam was a runner-up in the female All-Valley. And they have the most experience and have shown the most. They should have just been shoe wins anyways. So, I'm going to say Hawk is above all of them. And, uh, yeah. This Dimitri kick don't mean nothing. Hawk was able to get out of Dimitri's hold. He clearly could have beat him. Dude showed him mercy. So, clearly, he's above Dimitri. And the only reason I say he's above Yoon is because dude basically has no feats. All he did was get bodied by Quan. Somebody who got bodied by Quan does not deserve to be over Hawk. Maybe in part two, this, this will all coolly change probably. But, yeah, I don't care. Anyways. Next, I got, um... Uh, I got, uh, let's see. Next, I got... You know what, Loki? I kind of sold here because I kind of, I kind of meant, meant to put somebody else before. Um, I'm gonna say Kenny. Kenny is literally above Devin. Here's why: he was not. Okay, Devin was over here freaking out about how Kenny was faster and, and all that other stuff. So she clearly be above, be above Devin. But the reason he's not above base Tori is because Tori got more facts, and it's just stated like multiple times to be that person. Uh, Hawk is clearly better than Kenny. I don't care nothing about any of this nonsense of him beating him in season five. Doesn't really apply. I'm pretty sure Yoon could beat him though, simply because he was able to scrap with Quan. And I'm, I'm, I'm a, you can see what I mean when I when I say that because I'm gonna put Quan. So basically, I think Hawk is like so far the best. I'd say he's better than Devin and definitely better than Devin Trito. Uh, 100% should have been in the Sekai Tech Guy. Um, anyways, with that being said, now we get into the to the to the to the real talk. The real tox, the toxicity. All right, so um, I'm gonna just say this is my B tier because I feel like these are all the B tier levels of the fighters. Uh, sorry, Hulk, he doesn't make it in the A tier for me. He's just better than every one of these fighters. Okay, so in A tier, uh, what we got going on here is the first person I'm gonna put in here is um, I'm gonna put Ray Jam Tori. Now, let me explain to you why I put Ray Jam Tori in here. And um, I'm gonna just, you already know what I'm about. You already know what I'm now let me quickly explain why Sam is above Tori Rage Jam. Tori was Rage Jam since she started fighting Sam in that fight. Sam still scored two points against Tori. This whole argument about Tori, like, um, like was about to score a point if Daniel didn't get in the way, is 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 stupid because at Tori punched Sam, she wasn't aiming for her lower body; she was aiming for her face. And had she hit her face, she that would have been illegal. And she probably would have got disqualified. If not disqualified, that wouldn't have counted. So I, I don't care about any of that. Um, Ray Jam Tori, in my personal opinion. If I think now, I do think this Tori would have performed better had her mom not died. This Tori, but that she did. So Ray Jam Tori is just what I get. I just what I get. So she's not above Sam to me. Simply because Sam performed better against her while Ray Jam. I don't really understand why that would make her better. But I do see people that put Ray Jam Tori above Sam. And I don't understand that. I don't understand that logic. Um, clearly, Ray Jam Tori is above Kim, though. Because she was able to still get into the, the, the fighters for the Cobra Kai team. So this would make that's this Tori. Because I'm assuming Tori would still be Ray Jam, obviously. Because her mom is still dead. So she would still be right here. But she's just not above Sam, who scored two points against her. Uh, she Tim, Sam was literally on her way to winning that fight. Now, I know that doesn't mean anything, but she was doing it against a Rage Damn Tory, which does matter. So, with that being said, I got Sam above Tory. I'm not a Glazer. Don't say that, bro. Don't hate on me, bro. I just got Sam right here because it makes sense. Bro. Any case, also, Sam has always beat Tory, but that doesn't matter for this. I just don't think Rage Damn Tory is above Sam because she didn't perform better against her in that fight. And I think those uh, theories about that punch landing, giving them 2-2 is just cap. Next, we got the obvious, the obvious. I don't even got to really know where this, what this is going. You already know where this is going. 
Miguel here, Robbie here. This just makes sense. This just makes sense. Robbie is above Miguel. He beat him. This whole argument, I'm not even going to get into it about apparently Miguel being nerfed or something. There's some interview statement about it. I don't care, bro. Miguel lost fair and square. Miguel was trying his hardest to get into Stanford. It, it, it's verbatim obvious. He says, I'm not holding back against you. Uh, Robbie confirms he's not holding back. This is their best. Robbie wins. I personally think you go either way. Any any you know, altercation at this point between the two. I don't care though. I got Robbie above Miguel. He just beat him. He just beat him. I'm sorry. He beat him. Um, yeah, so he's above Miguel just for that simple fact. If if any case, these are interchangeable. Next, I got Quan above all of these people. Because now, keeping in mind, when I said I don't care about statements, Quan is shown in like a clip to be capable of sc scaring Robbie Miguel all I think Dimitri, I think he was the one, the other one in the clip. Either way, he's able to scare all of them. So this would imply that he is that guy. Also, Quan beats these other guys. Um, yes, on this. So I don't have any reason to say Quan isn't over them. Quan has no feeds. So honestly, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this be known. This could go from right here to right here. It could really be that simple. It could really be that simple. It just depends on your take. If you think Quan's uh, statements beats put him here and that's fine he's clearly above sam and tori though um he's just above them it just doesn't i don't need to include this because uh, the miguel and robert are above him so it's like they wouldn't hype up this guy to be like this if he wasn't equal to these two so either he's right here below both or he's or he's uh, like i just said right here now there are some people that think Quan is like between both of them i don't know i don't really believe it. i think it's one way or the other all right, so now we can get into the sensei knots that, that must play me. So I'm going to say Quan is no real reason to say that. All right, so first, my first uh, person, we got Dream John. Ducks. Next, we got uh, Obviousness. We got him, which has no feats, obviously. Clearly, Mike Barnes would be over that because it just makes sense. Priest. Uh, being a sensei would be over him for way longer. Chris gets a buff when he beats Dream Johnny. Clearly, be a uh, Kim can't even train her own students correctly. Clearly, she's above Johnny. I mean, John. I mean, uh, Chris. And uh, although I don't even agree with Kim Sung Young being this strong, uh, this is clearly a uh, flashback. Uh, Kim Sung Young, it says flashback him, and flashback him would be SSS because she taught this the style to Chris. So, this makes sense. Um, in this season, let's be let's be real here. Let's be real here. Daniel is the weakest sensei. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not having none, bro. I'm not having any. Daniel is the weakest sensei. Not even close. Johnny and Chosen are relative because they were about to fight each other. Why is Johnny behind Daniel? Go right there. And the goat of this entire show is Chosen, bro. It's Chosen. So this is my tier list, bro. This just makes the most sense. So I'm gonna go back over this just to make sure. We got. Nate washed, Bert washed, Random washed, Chris obviously doing karate is above him, Mitch doing a, is above him because he always beats him, Anthony is above them because he's able to scrap with Kenny who's above Devin and that's impressive, I would say Kyle is above all these people because he's able to scrap in a fight, I would say Sean is better than all these people because he's just stronger than them, he has a better feat of attacking Robbie, I would say Demetri is in C tier because he still does karate and was able to get a kick off on Hawk that, that sent him. I would say Devin is below Kenny because she literally says she is. I would say base Tori's above Kenny because she was able to get a more flags than him um, and just perform better. I would say um, I would say Yoon is like right here because he should just be above base Tori um, who has practically no feet if I'm being honest. And Hawk is above him because he just, he just has better feats overall. Like. If he doesn't show mercy to Dimitri, he wins and gets the flag. And he should be relative to the four. So I, I don't know why anybody would put him lower than Uh With this being said, I got Rage and Tori here because she doesn't perform well against Sam at all. Like, she still is about to lose. And that point, once again, would have been illegal. And she probably would have got thrown out of the match, to say the very least. Sam is here because look at what I literally just said. I don't have to explain this. Rage and Tori is better than Yoon, though, and Hulk because... Is she's considered to be in the top four fighters. Not only is she considered to be in the top four fighters, she has to get into the qualifications. So this will put her this this level. So clearly she'd be above him. 
uh, Robbie and Miguel, this just need to be explained. They're just considered to be the top two of the dojo. Juan, like I said, could be between uh, Miguel and Sam, or you could be right here. Personal take and opinion. Kim has no feats. Uh, honestly, um, this looks kind of like... Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm, I'm gonna say Kim is above this, this Johnny. This just makes sense. Uh, it's Dream Johnny, bro. Kreese destroyed him. Um, Kim has no feats. That that could be changed. Uh, my Barnes is better than both of them. She has no feats. He does. John, I mean, Kreese. I mean, he's able to fight Johnny. Uh, Kreese was able to beat Dream Johnny. That's not impressive. Uh, Johnny has better feats. Um, Daniel has better feats than Kreese. So, clearly, he'd be above. Well, you know... You know what? Maybe Crease is above Daniel. I don't know. Maybe Crease is above Daniel. Because, see, he gets that rage boost. Daniel has no feast this season. Yeah, I'm going to change that. Daniel is below below Crease. He's arguably below Mike Barnes, but I feel like that'd be a little bit too nonsense. Because he's still able to block Johnny and, and, and yeah, I would definitely say this is where Daniel is. I don't think he's above Crease and Father Rep, like Father Thought. Uh, Johnny is definitely here. There's no question. He's just that good at like I mean, just look at season five for your feats. Look at Chosen, your your feats. Uh the feats that these two perform in that season. Now you can say Chosen got nerfed because this I didn't see it. I don't know. There was no feats again. But yeah, this is my tier list. I just think this is the way it should look. It, it, I just think this makes the most sense. Now, if you guys think that any of this is different, you can, um, I'm gonna actually, for this in particular video, I'll put my Discord in the description. You can come to the Discord and talk to us. Uh, everything fictional, bro. Go to the chat and we can discuss this if you want in further detail. Or if you if you don't want to do that, you can just go on in the comment section. I understand it's a lot. Um, yeah, but this is my tier list for season six so far. I hope part two gives me more scaling on all these people. At least sure I can see, like, maybe I'm, like, not... You know, now I feel like the main things people are going to agree with is a um, Hulk being right here and not even squeezing a tier. But I mean, if you wanted to, I guess I could put Hulk here. He's still going to be behind. Him. It doesn't change anything. Um, and yeah, I feel like people are going to hate this because everybody hates this. Robbie fanboys, Miguel fanboys, Sam haters and Tori lovers are just going to make this look stupid. Probably um, people who say this man has no feet are going to make this look stupid. Uh, people that don't mess with this is probably gonna say this is stupid, but honestly the only reason I'm putting him here is because this is the flashback version as in prime version that in mind would clearly be above all these people because he invented a whole style So yeah, there we go. Also, he literally was stated to be in like a post or something. Now, I'm not I don't have enough mind. I just know it was stated All right guys, uh, I can never say stuff whenever he says stuff. Thank you and I'm out. Thanks for watching this tier list this is my final tier list. Tell me what your thoughts are. Join the Discord. 